Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel where last week I saw Elite release a small but significant feature set update to their flagship Justo Trainer. Quick summary of what those changes are is that they're now offering fast track or race mode with 10 hertz power data over Bluetooth or direct connect using their Elite Gateway device. They now support pairing to Shimano DI2 group sets to make use of those hidden D-Fly buttons for trainer control. Now there's two modes for that. If you are connected to say Zwift or any other controlling software, pressing the DI2 buttons will give you a pain break for up to 60 seconds, allowing you to uh, catch your breath and have no resistance provided in either ERG or SIM mode. Or in standalone mode, you can go up and down 16 levels of resistance with that DI2 pairing. Interesting stuff. And lastly, they've added total distance or an odometer to track overall lifetime usage of the Justo trainer. Okay, let's dig a little deeper into those features and see them in action. Okay, first things first, using the Upgrado app to ensure I have firmware 15 or higher installed. Now, if the firmware is a lower version, there will be an option there to upgrade. I've already performed the update, so just as confirmation there, firmware 15 on the Elite Justo. Once that's installed, over to the new Elite My eTraining app under Settings and Configuration here. Firstly, we'll click on the Fast Track Data Transfer and an explanation there that you'll get 10 hertz over TCP devices using the gateway or Bluetooth Power or Bluetooth FTMS. So not for Ant Plus at this point in time. And to enable that, click on the configuration wait for the little spin wheel to do its thing and we toggle that option on it's off by default that's all it that needs to be done there operation completed successfully okay next we'll have a look at the total distance which is the odometer that's now included with the justo and 1266 k's completed so i guess i have been writing this quite a lot and finally onto the pairing via shimano di2 so control your smart trainer even more intuitively using the buttons on your electronic shifts levers. So DI2, and they list here information about the pain break mode, which is the mode that it goes into when you are connected to software. And when not connected, you get those 16 levels of manual resistance up and down with DFly 1 and 2 channels, I believe. All right, close on that. Let's get that configured. Okay, from here, click on pair. It will then search and pair almost instantly to the ANT broadcast from the DI2 system. So with the newer 12-speed Shimano DI2 that has the wireless module built in, you're good to go. You'll just need to ensure that the ANT transmission is enabled. And on previous generation DI2, you will need to ensure that wireless module is installed. It's not typically installed by default on older DI2. And again, ANT plus transmission enabled for this to work. Now it is worth noting there's no indication of which ANT module this is paired to, so just be careful if you've got multiple DI2 systems in the near vicinity when doing this. Jumping over to the Zwift pairing screen, connecting the Justo via Bluetooth with the companion app for power source, resistance, and cadence. You can see the power number there jumping around already with this new fast track mode. Heart rate, and I'll go Bluetooth as well. And that's all that needs to be done because this configuration is all trainer based. So fast track and DI2 control is all on the trainer. So just riding along here and just doing a quick stomp on the pedals, bang, the power goes straight up and is a lot more responsive as we've come to expect from trainers with this new 10 Hertz fast track slash race mode. A little further down the road, still in sim mode, going up a 4% gradient and I just touch one of the hidden D fly buttons and the resistance completely drops out and returns me to next to nothing. You can see the power goes down through the floor right there on a 4% gradient and it just effectively disconnects the sim mode or as you'll see just here, erg mode too. Now before pressing pain break in erg mode, it's worth noting that fast track still appears to be enabled in erg mode. So that number can jump around a little high or a little low if you're a little rough on the pedals. But I will show pain break coming into effect right here. There we go. Okay, so I've pressed the button and it drops all resistance. Swift really doesn't know what's happened, but the train is now providing no resistance. I'm just spinning along, spinning along. And obviously erg mode has disengaged. And I'll fast forward here, 60 seconds later. And it's back to erg mode 
and controlling the trainer at the 200 watt set point. Now it is worth noting that you can enable and disable the pain brake mode by pressing the defly buttons and pressing them again or waiting for that 60 second timeout to take place and it will return back to its previous state either in sim or erg mode. That's all based on the uh, quick testing that I've done here in the Llama Lab. Now when it comes to manual mode where there's no software controlling the Justo, there's nothing much to report back on other than it works. Up resistance, down resistance, and you've got 16 levels to choose from. Simple as that. So there it is, an overview of the small but welcome updates to the Justo Interactive Smart Trainer, bringing it more into line with what I refer to as Generation 2 Smart Trainers. A quick overview of the Justo as a refresher um, and reasoning why I call it a Generation 2 Trainer. Ant Plus Multi Bluetooth Ethernet using Direct Connect via the Elite Gateway. Auto calibration, accuracy, less than 1% margin of error there. All bike support, 10 hertz power data transmission, which they call fast track, sensor bridging for heart rate monitors, built-in movement with those flex feet, lifetime odometer, trainer handle, and the bonuses for the Justo is that DI2 pairing and ERG easy start. Now the Justo did land at an awkward time. It was mid-summer in the Northern Hemisphere, just as the COVID boom of indoor cycling was on the downturn, and just before the trainer market had a real shakeup with the Zwift hub landing. To their credit, Elite have responded to those market changes with reduction in pricing and the positioning of the Suto and Doretto smart trainers. But the Justo does showcase what technology they are able to pack into an interactive smart trainer. I would love to see Elite release fast track or 10 hertz race mode for the Doretto range. So the Doretto, Doretto X, Doretto XR and Doretto XRT. That'll be a great addition to those trainers, which are very popular and close the gap just a little bit more on features to similar trainers on the market. All right, with that, We'll leave it there. Thanks for watching this one and stay tuned for more.